your defense was astounding tonight. Yes, sir. Hey, I do, we practiced. We came out right for this. We practiced all week, and we did everything we could against their offense. And, man, we showed out. And, man, the score just told us, told y'all, we, we do it. We really do. So, 24-8, to 8, the final. What was the game plan coming in when dealing with YI? Coming into this game, we weren't really – practicing ready for the pass we more run game so we came in we showed run first always and we got heavy on the run and we just stopped them we stopped them at the line and we allowed it like what four first downs well we've decided that the whole defense is going to be our sport clips mvp so all 11 players will be receiving a sport clips mvp experience from Sport Clips, you have one right there on Ken Island. You could use a haircut. Yes, and uh, you, because you stood out today, we're also, there's a little body wash uh, kit that comes with it. And you probably need a bath, so we're going to give that to you. A little bit dirty. I would love that. <laughs> well, congratulations I on your win. It. I appreciate it, man. So there you go, Tristan Ridgeway with the Ken Island Buccaneers defense. We're going to bring on David Van Wee now as he comes over here. He was a big standout player for the defense. And, uh, David, congratulations. You're our Midshore Exteriors Protect This House Award winner. Brought to you by a locally owned and qualified roofing and siding specialist. Go to MidshoreExteriors.com to get you a free estimate. But your defensive play on the line was what, you know, Coach Matt Griffith said stood out tonight. Uh, well, I appreciate that. I, mean, you know, I always try to go out there, do my best, go as hard as I can every play, don't take a snap off, you know, just play hard football. Your defense was strong tonight. You're also going to be a Sport Clips uh, MVP award winner. You'll get a chance to get a haircut as well. But tell me about the physicality of this contest. Well, you know, we came out there. We expected them to come back, uh, come at us hard. Well, we came back harder, you know. We just uh, had to go out there and do what we do and win, you know. Was it as physical of a game as you thought it was going to be? Oh, yeah, for sure. They came out hard. They're good players, and they play really hard. I mean, yeah. Parkside next week, you think you have something for them on your homecoming? Oh, for sure. We're going to put on a show for them. There you go. David Van Wee, awfully confident. Well, we want to try and get uh, – we want Casey Heath over here somewhere, if we can get him real quick. And uh, we'll try and do that coming up here in just a minute. While we're down here, we've got Taylor Walls with us. Taylor, come on over here. This is your first experience with high school football on the sidelines with the camera. And also, you know, this game, it seemed like it was hard hitting from where we were up in the booth. What was it like on the sidelines? On the sidelines, it was very in intimidating trying to catch up with the ball, but it was a lot of fun seeing all the boys' reactions and, like, their hustle and effort throughout the game. Yeah, you're, you're, you're a big baseball fan. We're, we're breaking you into football, so it was an opportunity for you to see and feel that up close. Thankfully, you never got hit. Thankfully not, but, yes, baseball has a special place in my heart, but football is a new territory for me, but I'm loving every second of it. You'll be able to catch Taylor Wall stuff on uh, the website at shoresportsmd.com. Here comes Casey Heath. He's no stranger to award winning here. He is our Maverick Transport Hauling Freight Award winner. Brought to you by Maverick Transport and Easton, handling all types of freight for all types of businesses and manufacturers. Casey, you guys, you were all over the place on defense. We couldn't give you every award tonight. <laughs> Yeah, um, I've been working hard. Our whole team's been working hard, and you just got to fly around the ball playing good teams like this. You know, coming into this, we were, uh, we were like, kind of worried. You know, this team's big. This team's big, but we got this. So uh, everyone had to fly around and make plays tonight. Let's talk about offensively running the ball. You, what, you didn't have much success early on. Were you getting frustrated? Um, I was getting a bit frustrated. You know, I was making some mistakes by bouncing it outside when they have a uh, giant DN, two giant DNs that I'm not faster than them, you know. So uh, in the second half, I uh, put the shoulder down and ran through the middle, and I got a couple more yards, and I was pretty happy with myself. It looked like you enjoyed contact tonight, a physical game, a chance to rest up a little bit and get ready yep. for next Saturday night's game with uh, Parkside. Yep. Yep, it'll be a good one. It'll be a good one. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. There you go. Casey Heath is our Maverick Transport Hall in the Freight Award winner. He'll be getting a shirt that says so as well. Welcome back to Doc's post-game wrap-up, and we're with Coach Isaiah Taylor from the Y High Indians. And Coach, a tough one tonight. Uh, we called it a slobber knocker. It was a physical game, and we think the game really changed when you lost your quarterback, Darius Foreman. Yeah, it, obviously, you know, as a team, you know, when your your leader, you know, kind of goes down, that's that's tough to come back from. But I'm proud of the guys because you know, there was no looking back. You know, they kind of just adjusted and rolled with the punches. So. 
Yeah, your backup quarterback was out tonight as well, and I know because of HIPAA rules and everything, you can't give us an update on the quarterback, but right. I know that Foreman's going to be heading to the doctors this week to get a check out and get an assessment. But you had B.J. Cook stepped up, Norman stepped up as well as quarterbacks, but I guess this week you got to find a quarterback. Yeah, absolutely. I, um, you know, we're hoping for some good news from Foreman. And then um, our our backup quarterback, who's has done a fantastic job, is coming back. So we'll we'll be looking forward to to him being healthy for next week. So he will be back. And again, just just praying for good news from Foreman. Let's talk about uh, the offensive attack that you had. Uh, you, you really only tried a couple of passes before Foreman ever got hurt. Were you guys afraid of what they were going to do to you on the outside, or did you just think? I mean, it was. There was no running room on the inside for either team. Yeah, I mean, we, we, um, you know, early we were starting to get the, we we're going to get the passing game going. Um, you know, right when that happened, he actually got hurt on a passing play, um, and we, we had a good look. You know, it was just a very unfortunate circumstance when he scrambled. You know, you take a hit like that. Um, it's definitely unfortunate, but yeah, no, they 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 came off the football. Those those smaller guys, they got a D line play really physical. Uh, I tip my hat to them. And our guys, you know, we just got to get better. So um, defense, you know, made some good stops on the run at times. But, you know, a couple of plays on, on defense kind of hurt us. Yeah, the long pass play to uh, Brockington was one of them. Right. Uh, but you got some life out of Leatherberry with that 95-yard kickoff return. Oh, yes. We're really proud of him. He stepped up. And even the kids. You know, I, I've been – it's my third year here. And a loss like this, you know, a lot of guys in the past – um, you know, would kind of get really, really down on themselves. And our guys are just so encouraged and enthusiastic to go back to work. Obviously, it hurts. You know, they're, they're definitely hurting from this loss. But I think we're going to learn from it more than we're going to really let it dictate our season in a negative way. Who do you have next week? Uh, we have Cambridge. All right. So you head to Cambridge. They had a big win tonight over Kent County. Okay. But, uh, yeah, you'll head into uh, their house, I guess, next week. Or they actually home. come here, yeah. yeah. It's our homecoming game. So we're looking forward to that matchup and getting back to the things we do. And we're looking forward to coming back, you know, tomorrow morning and watching the film. I, I learned this early from some mentors that, you know, the, the following day after a loss, you know, you just got to realize the sun's going to come up. And, you know, that one loss can't define your season. No, it doesn't. It's only one loss, and you still got a more. And the state just said everybody makes the playoffs, so it yeah. doesn't matter. Yeah, exactly. We still got we still got a lot of life, so we'll be okay. I'm confident in these guys. But yeah, it's a hard fought game. We came up short, but uh, I, I think we'll I think we'll see these guys again.